day to one and all. My name is Princess Gladilyn V. Reconalia, a second year education major from Cebu Technological University, Mualbo Al Campus. This is my first ever teaching demonstration and my topic will be the five sense organ. Good morning everyone! Alright, how are you all feeling today? Feeling good? Feeling happy? Feeling excited? Feeling? Feeling blessed. Okay. I feel so good also seeing you all again for this week. Okay. Before anything else, let us all stand up for our prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Lord and Father of all, thank you for guiding us every day. And also, please continue to bless these children as they continue to learn and grow. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning once again. Today is, okay, today is Monday. Which means we're going to have another topic to talk about all throughout the week. Are you excited about our new topic? Okay, our new topic for today is about me or about yourself. I have here a picture of a celebration that you always look forward to. Can you guess? Okay, by looking right at the picture, it's a birthday party. Have you been invited to a birthday party? Okay, I can see a lot of you has witnessed a birthday party because we also ourselves have birthday parties, right? Okay, so some questions for you. Is the cake yummy during the party? Yes, of course, the cake should be yummy. How about the smell of the food? Yeah, it smells so great, like the spaghetti, the hot dogs, right? It makes us so excited again. How about how did you know about the age of the birthday celebrant? Okay, correct, Tala. By looking at this, by looking at the candles on top of the cake or at the back of the uh, party or the party banners, right? So usually they put the numbers there at the party banner or at the balloons also. So in this party, one, two, three, four, five, the little boy is celebrating his fifth birthday. And um, another question. Did all of your friends clap loudly or softly during the singing of the birthday song? Okay, we all laughed loudly, right? And loud and clap loudly as well because we're so excited for the birthday celebrant. How about did you pick all the candies after the breaking of the piñata? Yes, that's so exciting, right? I can see all of you smiling there at your seats because birthday celebrations are so important to us. Just as um, the birthday celebrations, these um, body parts are also very important to us. Did you all notice the body parts that we used while answering my questions? Okay, so let us all take a look back on our questions. Um, when I asked about if the cake was yummy, we used our, correct, our mouth or our tongue to taste if the cake is yummy. How about when we counted the candles on the cake? We use our eyes, correct. How about those who clap loudly and who clap so softly? We used our ears. How about the smell of the yummy food? We use our nose. And how about when we got all the candies? We used our hands, okay. So these body parts, my dear children, are so important to us because they help us observe what's going on in our surroundings. We are done with the parts of the body, right? We know all the parts of the body, but these five parts, which is our eyes, our nose, our mouth or our tongue, our ears, and our skin, 
which is represented by our hands because of course we use always our hands to touch everything right so our hands are the five okay the five sense organs so they are called sense organs from the word sense what do you mean by sense okay we, what we meant by sense is we observe what's going on around us we know what's going on around us we can hear what's going on around us we are aware of the things of the people moving of the objects that are here in the classroom or if someone is calling us or if the weather is too hot or too cold right so this sense organs helps us in our everyday life so here are the three main um, benefits or the three main um, helping activity of our sense organs because they are also workers right in our body they help us move and of course they help us live first benefit is our sense organs helps us observe the surroundings next our sense organs helps us express ourselves when we're feeling good feeling sad feeling angry and the third part or the third benefit is our sense organs protect us from harm because by the use of our hand we can touch if the mug is still hot right or when we stepped on our legos on our toys we feel hurt right so it gives us warnings and our sense organs are very important to us we may not notice that we're using them already because we just got used to it from the time that we are born we are already using this sense organs okay for our activity you are going to work with your seatmates of course so I have here I have here the activities that we always do every day okay let us read one of them look at the warning signs and observe the environment are you a little bit um are you a little bit curious about the look at the warning signs what what do you mean by that teacher okay looking at the warning signs for example, I always remind you during rainy days to walk slowly at the ramp. So by looking that the ramp has a little bit of water or when you just go outside for school and you're feeling cold, you know that it's raining, correct? So this is what I meant by looking at warning signs. Next is smell fragrances. Listen to sounds and respond to them taste different kinds of food and know if the surface is hot cold soft or hard okay again you're going to pair with your seatmate and you're going to list down on a piece of paper the sense organ that you think we're using when we're doing this five activities okay any questions Tala, Carl, okay, none so far. You may start now. And thank you so much, Tala, for collecting all the papers and putting it in my table. Without further ado, I know you're excited. You think these are pictures? Yes, you're right. These are pictures of the sense organs. We are going to answer it right away. First is... Look at the warning signs and observe the environment. What do you think is the sense organ? Of course, the eyes. Okay, and the eyes gives us the sense of sight. Next, smell fragrances. What sense organ? Very good, it's the nose. 
the nose gives us the sense of smell. Next, listen to sounds and respond to them. Okay, I'm just pasting it right away because I already heard some answers. Ears or ears gives us the sense of hearing. Next is the tongue to taste different kinds of food. And the tongue gives us sense of taste. Lastly is our skin or again represented by our hands to know if the surface is hot or cold or the sense gives us the sense of touch. Very good, your answers are all correct, my dear children. And for the surprise of the day, we are going to play a guessing game. This serves as your oral quiz for today. I have here some things inside the box which you're going to... Okay, you're going to guess, right? You already know this game. Okay, so first thing I'm going to get is something crunchy no the sound is something crunchy i guess you're getting these are um some of your snacks and we're using our sense of taste and our tongue to taste what flavor we want to eat or what flavor we are craving for so the thing is correct tala these are biscuits next um this is what we usually use when we watch TV or watch cell phone watch videos in the cell phone this you're going to plug a wire in your cell phone and wrap this device in your head okay we we are yes correct we are guessing for a headphone you are right this headphone is related to our ears the sense of Hearing. Next item is we have this cologne. This cologne is related to, of course, our sense of smell. And this um, next item that we have is a soft toy. It's so soft that you want to cuddle, you want to squeeze, correct. It's a stop toy. Mr. Teddy is related to our sense of touch. And the last thing from the box is this is what you usually hang in the sala or in your bedroom. And it usually has the pictures of the painting, your family, your friends. Correct. This is a picture frame and we see what's inside the picture frame through our correct through our eyes okay so very good i think all of you answered well excellent good job i am so happy that you're all responding happily and um excitedly in this activity but wait there is more guides for tomorrow, my dear children, we are going to have a show and tell. You are going to bring all your favorites, okay? You do not need to write it down because I already printed some papers, which you're going to give it to your parents when you arrive at home, okay? So for tomorrow's show and tell, you are going to bring your favorite toy your favorite fragrance or it could be a cologne or your favorite shampoo or soap you uh, you bring your favorite food and you bring your favorite picture or the most unforgettable moment in your life or you can even bring your uh, pictures of your birthday parties and the last is you will sing just a part or a phrase of your favorite song okay are you excited for tomorrow's activity okay i am excited too because me your teacher is going to bring also her favorites for tomorrow so that all of us can share okay so that is all for today and always remember my dear children to always be thankful for a healthy and a complete body 
Okay, so goodbye for now. Please take care and remember to say thank you to the Lord up above for this wonderful day for today. Goodbye.